Oh, that, that's your actual coupon rates on the bonds, the cost to sell the bonds, you know, our fees included in there. You're at 4.96% on this piece right here. Uh, seems high, but keep in mind, we only sold the long, we only sold the long end. You know, we sold the higher interest rate end of the piece. So if we go to the next page, we combine the 2010 A's or excuse, yes, 2010 A's with the 2011, so you can see how the sources and uses break out there. Um, then on, that's actually page one again, so I didn't correct those pages, but page two of that section will show the, the debt service, and, or aggregate debt service on an ongoing basis, so um, this is probably more just for you to understand that on a, on a fiscal basis, if you look at the far right-hand column, that's going to be the amount of money needed to service the debt. So that's going to ultimately determine how much you need to levy. Okay, and we, we're at about seven, a little over seven hundred thousand this year in eleven. There's a couple high years of about seven forty, but it's anywhere between the seven, probably the seven thirty to seven forty range. Okay, which is pretty much in line with what we had talked about during the election. Um, and then if you go two more pages to page four, that'll show you what your levy is on the far right hand column again. And this is for the entire debt service. Um, so in this year you'll be at 17.24 cents per hundred evaluation and then you can see on the right it's 18, 18, 1, 18, so that's on and so forth. And, it's, stays it, and that's using, yeah, that's using your current valuation and that's assuming no valuation growth or dip or anything. That's assuming you're at your 407 million in change of valuation for those. Obviously as that valuation changes, these numbers will need to be tweaked a little bit. But we certainly helped during the bond that. issue. We talked about 196, I believe, because we had eight cents off that, so it made 116. Right. So I think it was 196, and, and we were, and I think our approximate 30 million each year increase in valuation. Yeah, it's past so 10, I think that'll change. Yeah, and we did. You know, when we, some folks will choose to build in some valuation growth uh, and, and they'll also grow their debt service payment, you know, assuming that valuation growth. But from our standpoint, it, it, I, I think that's, you know, you're really kind of risking it because you don't, nobody knows what's, I mean, obviously land prices have have been outrageous and, and, and how long that can go, who knows, and I don't want to predict that, um, you know, so it's, uh, we keep it at a kind of a level level payment. It's within that ten thousand dollar range each year, so you know that's what you're faced with, and that's kind of how we presented it to during the the election as well. Now, so if the valuation does take a jump. Either you can't pay ahead, can you? If valuation, well, if valuation goes up, you'd ultimately just lower your levy. Exactly, but but if, if you didn't. You can't pay ahead, correct? You you could escrow that money, and then after a five year period, you could. There's a five year call on these bonds. So, what that is, that's protection for the investor. Sure. When they bought the bonds, they want to know they're going to be getting this interest rate for at least five years. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm yeah. saying we're, well, we're what probably if? lower sure. the, the tax ask. Yeah, I just wondered sure. if it was possible. But you are able to. You are a ultimately you're able to um, pay bonds early if. If you come into money or something, I mean, it's stranger things have happened. I mean, some people, uh, somebody passes away and leaves the district a bunch of money. You can certainly apply it to, you know, whatever you deem necessary. But but it's got periodic times. It. Yeah, it's a five-year call, yeah. though. Um, are there any questions on that? I know I hope I didn't butcher that up too bad for you. Is it? I'm going to get the money. Oh, you want the money. Oh. <laughs> um, 
What I have here on a day to date is March 15th. So okay, that'll work. 15th would be, you know, just just like the last one would be wired directly to um, the bank of choice. We have Fremont National Bank as the paying agent registrar, just like yeah, we did on the for the paying agent registrar pay services. Agent, but we pay them. Right. That's you who will give it, you the notice of payments. To Barry Blue. Yes, we'll send it to them. Um, now we'll probably have to have him. Probably have to visit with him about. Uh, making sure he's online, you know, with that and the date and all that, but we'll coordinate that. Because that's about the date we'll need to make the next payment to also. Oh, to, for the construction? Yeah. yeah. And it's starting to get... They're starting to eat away at you. Well, <laughs> well because some, of it's, tied, good, some of it's tied up in some CD, of the investments, sure. you know, that sure. are out three or four or five months yet. But sure. But that's what fifteenth would be the day to wire yeah, wire money, we, so it'd be available at that point in time. Um, any other questions? So with that, do you want us to approve the, this yeah, resolution? What I have, yeah, what I have for you, or what was it? Your you have the resolution in your packet there, I believe, probably just a blank resolution or ghost resolution, if you will. Yeah. Um, on page two, do you have any of the interest rates in there? You don't? No. Here, I'll show you. And those interest rates will coordinate with with what I just talked about but in this resolution. The four and a quarter, 445. Um, if you can see. Can I run a copy of that? No, I've got extra copies of that. It's going to be the same. Same resolution with the exception when we set up that ghost one, we hadn't sold the bond, so we didn't know what the rates were yet. So it's, it's normal for us to send you basically a blank one so you know, have a chance to read it. But here's it just corresponds with these, correct? absolutely. That's exactly what it is. So and the rate is higher long range, so right, it would have been anyway, meaning if we would have sold them, yeah, okay. you were. I mean, we our trade desk was very excited and happy with the sale that that took place uh, last Thursday is when they were in the market with them. Uh, I know that's what I wanted to touch on is when you combine this series with the old series, your all in cost is about four twenty for twenty year financing. Okay, 4.2 percent is your total cost, and I thought um, that might be an interest to you. Oh, yeah, you need to fill this one. <laughs> I'm just getting my secretary. That's okay. <laughs> Kim, and you're gonna, I'm going to be on your on your bad list, I'm sure, because I have all kinds of goodies for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I really, I promise, I'll make it as uh, harmless as possible. Yeah. Did you bring chocolate? That's what I'm <laughs> I can bring chocolate. I can do what, how, what, you know, whatever you like. <laughs> uh, and, but I don't need these tonight. So you don't. No. What I'll do is. Well, like we were saying, we'll we'll go ahead and have. Our secretaries type this out. Oh, okay, she doesn't have to, but it, but if you'd like to, that's fine. And then we'll I mean, uh, sign it and get it to. You. That that's perfectly fine. I only have one. Um, well, let me just explain. That looks like a lot, but it would well, no, hurt to everything like, else they sign. Yeah, that that isn't bad. Oh, no, it's not bad. <laughs> what it is is it's basically three copies of everything. So, so you want you ultimately. Want one copy will go to us, one copy will go to the attorneys, and one copy will go to the district when it's all said and done. But what I'd like to do is, um, the signatures I'll need on most will be the president and secretary, with the exception of that one page needs everybody. The acknowledgement of yeah. receipt of notice of meeting, which is everybody. We're missing one tonight. Do we get That's it? Okay. That's okay. So he'll, he'll, be, he'll be noted in the minutes that he's yeah. absent right. anyway, that Marty's gone. So. so if we have this motion pass it, you want all them sign? You know, 
you, you could, I mean, since all, the whole board or most of the boards here tonight, you just as well sign the acknowledgement. But right. the other stuff, you guys can do it at your leisure. And Sam, I'll leave my card with an address to send it to Judy on the back in Omaha. Um, so it doesn't have to be first thing in the morning. Whenever yeah. you, you know, tomorrow, the next day, within the next couple of days, would be fine. So, because we need to fill out this front page. Of our yeah, that's and fine. Thing. And and Kathy said she'd just type it in there. That's perfectly fine. No, that would be great. Okay, any other questions? So is there a motion to approve the sale of bonds? Not so moved. Oh. Is there a second? Motion should read. Or well, I think resolution. Uh, yeah, motion would be to uh, authorize the issuance of bonds, or the resolution should be to authorize issuance yeah. of yeah, bonds. Um, you know, that Lonnie made the motion <coughs> as presented, I would say. Okay, is there further discussion on the motion? Roll call vote. Time vote yes. Sue? Yes. Don? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Kim? Yes. Motion carry. Okay, next is the approval of the contract for superintendent. So motion to approve the contract with Mr. Alexander. Also Okay, approved by Lonnie, second by Kim. We approve the contract with Mr. Alexander for superintendent. Further discussion? I think it needs to be noted that in our negotiations with Mr. Alexander, we had he requested sixteen thousand less than what we offered in salary. So uh, I think he needs to be commended. It needs to be noted that. He had done that for us, and his reasoning was with the budget constraints coming, and was I guess the main reason. Maybe you can address a little more, Jason. Well, I just think one of the major concerns of everybody in the district is financial responsibility, and I think that's a way for me to indicate, and that that's a that's a serious concern of mine as well. And, um, I think that that's a step in the right direction to make sure that people understand that that's a concern that I have as well as everybody else. Well, I think it's very commendable. Thank you. Is there further discussion? Don, roll call vote on motion. Sue? Yes. Don? No. Bonnie? Yes. Kim? Yes. I vote yes. Motion carried. Okay. Report of Superintendent to the board. I just had to check and see if our birthday boy could wait. Oh, okay. my <laughs> God. <done talking. laughs> Kim, said, would, uh, would you really be really mad if I left these with you? No. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> um, legislative report. It's state aid, state aid, state aid, as far as education. Uh, there's a few relatively minor, more minor bills, but they aren't. That's the main, main deal and how that will come out. I see that in the paper today that the February receipts were up of some, and one of the senators said that that would alleviate the problem, but it might allow a little bit more for some, I don't remember if it was um, the social 
part, uh, you know, the, uh, the um, all the money that they put into uh, the, the uh, 